isn't a spoiler alert, my merch is up for sale now. I'll have a link down below for the beanies and the shirts, the parent and me. You can also shop it on my IG. You can go to my Instagram to find out more details about how to shop there. So if you order it today or before the end of April, you can get it by Mother's Day, which I think is so cute. We're also gonna try to do bundle deals. If you hear anything, they're remodeling my upstairs neighbor's apartment who just moved out, so. That's fun. Always construction in everywhere I live. I can't, I can't, I can't beat it. Hello everybody. I hope you are having an amazing day. I am having my first alone day in like three weeks. Some of that due to the fact that like I went to a wedding and that was kind of like my break time and being a bridesmaid in a wedding is so beautiful and such an honor but it is not like totally a break definitely fun was had but I didn't like refresh and recuperate and I've had arrow pretty full-on for the past few weeks and I want to preface that by saying by no means am I like calling out her father uh, there's just been a lot going on and he's an amazing dad and you know as you're within a co-parenting relationship there's a lot of like ebb and flow and when two people have irregular flexible creative jobs and schedules uh you know sometimes i have to ebb and flow a little bit more <laughs> than somebody with like a typical nine to five i see you guys you know in the comments I always read all the comments and you notice that like I still don't have a lot of my apartment in order and that is mainly due to like COVID shipping restrictions it's been really bad with furniture um, I ordered a coffee table and a kitchen island and a couple other things uh, as of now the coffee table that I ordered four months ago has now been back ordered and back ordered and pushed to August <laughs> So my daughter will be like two by the time I finally get a kitchen island, but I really like it. So I'm just, or no, coffee table. Fingers crossed the kitchen island will be coming at the end of this month. That's what it currently says, but it keeps jumping around. But I'm slowly making progress. I went on Etsy and I found this cute little small shop that makes wall decals. So I got this little like watercolor rainbow I really don't know how to do a decal I've never done one it seems like it should be easy but we'll see so we're gonna do that today I did also get arrow some new toys arrow started speech therapy and they had like a lot of cool toys there and so I saw the ones that were her favorite and I picked them up and they were actually like the best reviewed ones on Amazon so I'll show you those because they're really good finds okay welcome to the nursery not much has changed yet but we are going to change that. One thing I did update is on Amazon, I found the cutest, softest muslin crib bed sheet. They are from the brand Mushy. I'll link them down below. I just loved this tone. I know I've been pretty bad at linking stuff recently. I will link that. This pillow and pillow case is also from Amazon. I really love that. For her toddler blankets, I've just been using these barefoot dream blankets because they're it's winter ish is it winter still yeah it's winter right when is spring april it's march it has to be winter i'm so bad at but that. yeah these are pretty warm but they're also breathable so i have this one and then this was her baby blanket and it's also barefoot dreams one thing i need to do is her, if you can see her baby camera is not correctly mounted in case you're wondering i use the nanit baby camera and i've went back and forth on if i like it or not or would recommend it as of now i do really like it and i'm used to it the only downfall with it is all the alerts are straight on your phone there's no like handheld monitor so in like the first early stages when your baby's sleeping apart from you you kind of feel like you can't use your phone for anything else because you want to watch it constantly and it's hard to kind of switch back and forth you can have the sound playing in the background 
when you are like using your phone for other things but that is something to think about now it's not that big of an issue and the camera is really good quality if that's something that doesn't bother you i would I would recommend it. I do like it. Another new item I picked up for Arrow that I would totally recommend for a baby within their toddler stages. Arrow just started speech therapy just to kind of like evaluate. I'm sure everything's fine, but she has a very limited vocabulary. So I'm mainly doing it to learn different ways to be better about helping her develop her speech because she's just gotten used to like nonverbal communication which is fine and i've already learned some stuff that are like yeah i'm kind of helping her get used to these nonverbal versions of communication and i've already learned a couple of tips for getting her to get used to having to use her voice so once i get more into that i'll share that but when we were there, they have a bunch of toys and she was very into one toy and they said every kid that comes in is super into this toy. So I went on Amazon and it was like top rated. It is this little like kitchen set, which I never would have picked up on my own if I didn't see that she loved it so much, but it's a microwave and a little kettle and a little toaster. The microwave is a thing she really liked and they said why the kids like it is because it actually spins a little turntable inside. I don't know if you would consider this Montessori because it's colorful, but I mean kinda because it's like a, a real life item and I know Montessori is like real life based and not fantasy based. I kind of dabble in every <laughs> different form of toy. But yeah, I'll link this down below. Totally recommend okay, it. This is like the most exciting, sweet thing, best gift. Uh, Bambini fashion. If you haven't heard of them, they do like higher end baby toddler clothes. And I've seen them all the time on Instagram. One of the mom vloggers from Italy I always watch is Chia Ferragami. Fir I don't know. I followed her back in like the fashion blogger days when she was the blonde salad so she's always the blonde salad for me but they sent arrow some of the cutest things and i want to unbox it with you and i got it in size three because i noticed like the higher end items fit a little bit smaller so i do think these will be a little bit big but for springtime i think they're gonna fit perfect and they are just so cute they're white fringe jeans she's never had jeans before with these little patches i am obsessed with them and and i know they're they're white jeans they're gonna get dirty but they're they're the cutest things i've ever seen they also had little matching cowboy boots which i i didn't get but they were so cute stella mccartney also makes this cute little ice cream cardigan i don't know it might be weird to pair these together but i was feeling like I don't know the white stuff was just so cute for spring like even under over like a little tutui dress i did show this stella mccartney dress on instagram as a potential second birthday dress for her this is also in a 3t and I th it looks small but it might be stretchy so i really hope it fits her by the time her birthday comes around if not she's just gonna wear this everywhere else i have this moschino top with a little minion on it and then bambini fashion sent me this dress and if the other dress doesn't fit for her second birthday i'm gonna do this one it is the nicest item we will probably ever own i don't even have an item this nice it is a givenchy like punk rock princess dress like i want to put arrow and vans and this it has the Givenchy in rhinestones kind of like this little ombre it has this big poofy tutu it's like thick and long sleeve it is just the cutest ever and it is also in a 3t and i feel like she could maybe even fit into this now i am beyond thankful to bambini fashion for gifting arrow all of this stuff this is beyond nice if you want to check them out if you want to check out their sale anything i showed you or more i will have them linked down literally below. the cutest things i'm going to hang 
these stuff up now. I did get baby hangers from Amazon. Ugh. This is uh, an overflow closet. I kind of just stick things in here so don't judge it i don't have a ton of clothes that are like hang up clothes for arrow so she really just has like this little section right here uh so i'm just gonna hang up all these super cute little things these are the baby hangers i got for arrow i looked through everything all the reviews it was really hard to find like the difference between a baby hanger and a toddler hanger so these are like true toddler hangers so if you're in the market for those i will link these down below i also have the like adult version what are you doing girl get in line and see the size difference you have some other items in here i could show you i think i've showed this before they actually sell this brand on bambini fashion i just got it direct from the new 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 website but it's like punk rock princess dress. I just think for a dress, like that is the style I think is the cutest. They also sell this brand on the website. I noticed this is something I already had that is, I think it's in a, it's in a 5T. And the reason I got it in a 5T is because it was sold out everywhere else in every other size. It is from Hux baby but it is the cutest bathing suit i've ever seen in my entire life so i'm just gonna hold on to it for the next few years her everyday clothes are still in here which is mostly like you know what she wears the cozy comfy i did kind of switch things up and start putting tops here pants here leggings and dresses and skirts here i just have one thick set here down here i have like a really warm sweaters and winter stuff up here I have like my favorite matching two-piece sets and then an overflow of diapers I have diapers everywhere in this one it's still socks bows which she has never worn because she still doesn't have enough hair uh, kind of more of her like fancier tops and overalls uh, beanies in here which she still barely will let me put her in this is mainly like jackets and sweaters and some more pieces she doesn't wear as often but like my mom made these so i'm gonna keep them forever and that's pretty much how i've been organizing all of her clothes and everything i have been putting off putting up the wall decal we are gonna do that right now i'm just debating on if i should try starting it myself or my boyfriend's coming over and maybe he could help me do it because it might be a two-person job if it's as big as I hope it is because I wanted to over arch completely on the toy storage Okay, should we talk about the elephant in the room? I, uh, <laughs> what do I say? Mm. If you've watched my videos for a while, then you know I share a lot. I share more than most people would, and there's two reasons I do it. One is because I love the community that I have here. I love that we're friends. I love that we're in this together. I love helping you guys. I love connecting on difficult subjects and shining light on things that don't normally get shown to the forefront. The second reason I do it is because it brings me so much joy. I mean, the first reason brings me so much joy, but just having a voice and having an outlet and being able to speak openly has given me so much confidence as a mom and as a person in general and it's a huge part of who i am and who i have been really for 12 years i have done this and it's not for everybody but it's definitely for me and Yes, I am trying to navigate 
being in a relationship while respecting privacy but also not diminishing who I am at a core which is someone that likes to not hide anything and be open and honest and share my life pretty much completely. I'm definitely not perfect and I don't have the perfect solution all the time and especially off the bat, I definitely am someone that needs to make mistakes sometimes and learn from them. So where I am now is I'm by no means trying to tease anything in my life or be mysterious. I'm walking uncharted territory and I'm trying to be respectful of my own feelings and my connection with you guys and my connection with other people in the world. And so I really appreciate everyone who has been positive and respectful throughout my journey and for respecting the honesty that I do share and the stuff that I want to keep private. And that is kind of where we are in the situation. So yes, I am dating somebody. No, I am not going to dive in deeper at the moment of that situation. And if you have any more information that I'm sharing currently on this video, I would appreciate if you would continue to respect our privacy and keep it to yourself. Okay, I think that is it. I hope that you understand. I hope that you enjoyed this video. There are going to be a lot of changes coming up in the future. You saw some changes now, but I'll dive into that next week, but I think I'm going to start doing a two a week upload, so two videos a week for me. Uh, like this video if you like that idea. Leave comments down below on what you'd like to see in the future, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Ow!